Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout 4 next gen update video. With the new performance mode available, mods run super smooth with very little frame drops, so I decided to overhaul the game with the best graphic mods available on Xbox. I'm sure some of these are available on PS5, but probably not, and you will of course get better ones on PC. But this is as good as I could make Fallout 4 look on console with limited mods available, and all of these work after the next gen update. Also in this video I'm covering only environmental textures, lighting and weather, but I'm going to do another video for best mods for NPCs and the player, and one for weapons and armors as well, so if you guys enjoyed this I will make that video. Let's take a look then, and I'm doing these in order they're installed, but the first four mods I have are interchangeable, it depends on what you like, parts of them will overwrite each other, but I think this is the way it looks best. First we have enhanced lights and FX creates atmospheric, realistic lighting. I use this a lot in my Skyrim mod videos and it makes Fallout look good as well. Affects ambient lights as well and makes interiors have a better feel. It also gives the sun a better look. Sunlight alignment aligns the sun world lighting and the sun and the moon to create better shadows and it also reduces light at sunrise and sunset to look more realistic. Enhanced flickering lights is straightforward, anything with a flame will glow and flicker and the bigger the light source the bigger the glow. NECX Fixed. This mod is a decent lighting mod if you don't like the enhanced FX and light, but I use this to add a whole bunch of new weathers to the game and use it as an FX effect preset to adjust the contrasting other settings. It's not perfect, but if you want to know how I have mine, I have my contrast set to plus one, saturation minus two, gamma plus one, exposure plus one, Sunlight Intensity minus 2, Sky Luminosity minus 2, and that's pretty much it. However, it really depends on your monitor for the exact settings for the mod, so you'll have to play around with it. In visual settings, I have Vignette turned on to low because I quite like it, and in NEC settings, I have Night Brightness and Interior Brightness up, as if you increase the contrast, it will break your nighttime lighting, but it could just be a visual bug or a conflict with another mod. Next we have some new textures to go over, dilapidated roads, this is a simple retexture to make roads look like they have been through a nuclear war and natural decay of 200 years, but at the same time it makes the roads way better looking than vanilla. Two K Galaxy is a simple retexture for the night sky. Grey subway stations improves the interior of all the subway station textures including different tile floors and concrete and I think it looks pretty good. Vivid Fallout is an all-in-one texture overhaul, sharpening the game's original textures and improving mapping and shadowing. Illuminated billboards makes all the billboards light up so you can see them better at night. This includes bus stop lighting as well, that's a different mod. We'll add illuminated billboards to bus stops. I also have red rocket glare adds lighting to the red rocket buildings. And starlight drive improves the lighting of, of the starlight diner. But also all diners in the commonwealth will get some better lighting as well. Green in the Commonwealth. There are loads of tree and grass plant mods. I like this one as it's nice to see everything in a vibrant green when playing in the apocalypse. Wet water enhancement texture improves the water textures, although another mod possibly overrides this, but either way it adds splash and foam effects and improves the water's animations.
New ivy added really gives buildings, especially the end of the world, an overgrown feel. The Fungal Forest is a fun mod that adds these huge mutated mushrooms to the glowing sea, where as before it was just an empty plain landscape, it has a little bit more character now. Enhanced Deckle Draw Distance for Blood, Bullet Holes and other deckles. Remove Ugly Flat Trash is self-explanatory. Better Leaf Piles is a great one as it's a common texture on the ground and inside of buildings and now they do look a lot better. Metal Cube Map Replacer replaces the shiny metals with something a bit more dull and weathered looking. After all, it is the end of the world. Lastly then, we have Enhanced Blood Textures. Guys, that is my full list of graphic mods to improving lighting, texture and weather in Fallout 4, and they all work after the next gen update. If you enable performance mode, then you shouldn't have any issues with frame drops, at least I didn't, and also, so far, there have been no crashes. The amount of mods you have to choose from in Fallout isn't too much, so I'm not sure I'll be able to get it any better looking than this. But I do think it is a big improvement on just the vanilla game. You can let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I will make another one for the NPCs and the player, changing their textures to be a bit better, and also weapons and armors. So like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. And I want to leave you with one of my favorite weather effects that you get added with these mods.